Can you remember all of your online passwords? Or do you just write them down on post-it notes? Or worse yet, do you have a little book that says passwords and you write all of your passwords down in this book and store it in your desk drawer? If you do, I have the solution for you. It is a password management tool that I've been using for the past number of years now and it's really helped save time and frustration for me being locked out of all my online platforms and it really gives me the security and peace of mind that I just have to remember one password and this tool remembers all of the rest. And in this video, it will benefit you if you run your own company, if you manage a team, or if you're on the road a lot and you have multiple devices, a password management tool is the solution. And in this video, we're gonna be looking at LastPass and how I use it in my business. Hi there, Tim Pinkman here. And in this video, I wanna get super practical on how I use LastPass. I'm gonna be sharing my screen, going into my account and sharing you the best bits that I like about this tool. Now, what I've actually done is I've put together a, a checklist of all the tools that I use in my business. And you can get a copy now heading on over to timpeakman.com forward slash tools, uh, where I list all of the tools that I use to run my online business. So in this video, then we're gonna look at three things. We're gonna look at how secure actual password management systems are. We're gonna be looking at what features I like to use in LastPass. And also we're gonna be looking at the paid features and the free features about this actual platform. So first off then, I'm gonna start with looking at how secure these management systems are. And for this, I'm gonna jump straight on over into my computer and show you around. So here we are in LastPass and they really pride themselves on their security. All these password management systems have to be super secure. But as you can see, when you hit their security tab, this is all about their algorithm, how compliant they are and what code they use, how secure their architecture is. But the main thing that I started to use LastPass was because a lot of people that I was doing business with actually use this platform. So if they wanted to share a password with me or give me access to their password, they would simply share this with me. I would have to get a free account for LastPass and then we would go through, they can give me either full or temporary access to their account. Now it has a private master password function. It does have endpoint encryption and it has a 256 bit AES encryption. Apparently that's what the military use. That's what all of the high tech companies use. And this is what LastPass prides itself on. So not only it has encryption and decryption, it has a multi-factor authentication as well. So when you're signing in, you might have to have another device that you actually sign in with also. And you have an in-app security challenge. So when you do log in, it actually rates the health of your, your platform, actually rates the health of your passwords. If you are repeating passwords a lot of the time, it will just give you a challenge and say, hey, these are duplications, you need to upgrade these as you go. So I'm really quite happy with how secure this platform is. But like I say, there are other platforms out there with really high security, but this is the one that my network of people were using. So this is the one that I use. So if your group of people are on another platform, it's a good idea to jump on that platform so you can share passwords on the same platform. So the next thing we're gonna look at then, I'm gonna sign into my LastPass and we're gonna look at the features that I use on a daily basis. So here we are inside my LastPass account. I currently use the premium version. I'm gonna talk about that in the next item, but all you have to do is click on passwords and I have folders with all of my passwords in. So I'll just go into, let's say Zoom. I'll click on the little settings. You have the URL that the password is assigned to. So it's the sign in for Zoom. You give it a name. So this is zoom.us and I've created a business folder with this, my username, Tim, at timbeatman.com, and then the site password. Now this is generated for me and I've saved it. All you need to do is click on the little I icon to actually show your password. But then what I like about this feature is you can just click on the, the launch and all you have to do is remember just to sign into your LastPass and this will launch Zoom and open it up for you whilst signing in also. So you don't have to have that faff of forgetting your passwords or not being able to get into your account or being locked out. All you need to do is launch everything from this dashboard and that will help you uh, get into all your accounts. So the auto population function is one of the functions that I love about LastPass. 
Some of the other passwords uh, functions that I like is the Chrome extension. So if you were to click out on the Chrome extension and then click secure pass, uh, generate secure password, this will actually generate a really strong secure password for you. You can adjust the password length. Uh, you can have it easy to say, easy to read or all characters, uppercase, lowercase numbers or symbols. And all you need to do is just copy that password. And then when you're signing into a new account, copy that password, paste it in, and then LastPass will grab that password first time you use it so you don't have to use it again and again. And probably one of the main functions that I use LastPass for is the shareability. So once more, if you go into the function of any password here, you click on a little share icon here. And then here you can put in uh, somebody's email that you wish to share this password with. Now, the best thing about this is you can either allow a recipient to view password or not. If you leave this unchecked or unticked, the recipient will just get access to the account and that, all, that password will auto populate. It won't show that uh, password to the recipient. So this is great if you're just giving someone access to your account for a short period of time. For example, if you're working with a contractor, you wanna give them access to your platform. Uh, this is a great little tool to actually give them access to that platform, but then you can actually take that access away at any time. If this was a team member, you may wish to actually give them access to that password as well or you may wish um, to withhold that password information. But this is great that you can actually just type in somebody's email. They'll, if they don't have LastPass, they'll be invited to set up a free account and they can access uh, your platform of choice when you just share this with them. So next we're gonna be looking at the pricing structures and which pricing structure is best for you. So I'm just gonna head on over to the pricing plans. Now the main two differences here is you have single users and families, and then you have businesses. So I'm gonna to touch on the single users and families because most of the people I work with are single users. You can get a free account. So you can start with a free account. So like the example I just mentioned, if somebody shared a password with you, you can start with a free account and get access to the platform that they've shared with you. But the, uh, there are limiting factors with the free account you only can share one password with somebody else, so one to one. And there are some other limitations in terms of what you can and can't do with the platform. And the biggest limitation with the free account for me is you can only use it on one device. So I love this platform because you can have, uh, have it on your desktop, have it on your laptop, and also have it on your mobile device. So if, if you are out and about, or if you're on the road, you have all your passwords on your mobile device uh, if you need to share it with, with anyone at that time. The premium plan gives you a little bit more, so it includes all of the free features, then it gives you access on all these devices, one-to-many sharing, so if you do work in a team, this is probably uh, one to consider because you can actually share your passwords with multiple people, whereas the free plan will just do one-to-one -one sharing, and you can have lots more storage uh, one, gig one gigabyte of encrypted file storage on the cloud. And the third option then would be the families. It includes all the premium versions, but you have actual six individual encrypted vaults. So if you have a, a, a larger team or a family that you want to take care of and manage, you have a dashboard which manages all of their LastPass accounts. And then you can group and share items within folders. So you can set up a folder of all the passwords rather than just sharing one password with somebody you can actually share multiple passwords just by sharing that folder so moving over to the business plans then what we need to do is click on that tab to see there's teams and business teams are for anything up to 50 users and the business plan is anything over 50 users but the thing i like about LastPass is it is relatively affordable these prices are quite quite low and over an annual period uh, i would recommend buying this on an annual period this is quite affordable going forwards so i like i say i use the the premium plan 260 per month build annually so that's actually quite affordable for me this allows me to use all the premium features share it with multiple people um, and actually for them to share it with me too so hopefully you found value in that video that is a quick whistle stop tour on how secure the these password managers are specifically this LastPass platform 
what features I use, the, the features that I use, there are tons more features, but these are the, the three main ones that I use on a daily basis. And then a quick look on, on which plan would suit you, depending if you are a micro business owner, solopreneur, if you worked in part of a small team or a large company. Just remember, I have put a list of all the tools that I use to run my online business. You can get a free PDF copy download of that now. Head on over to timpeatman.com forward slash tools. It's a super simple checklist. You can download it, have a look what I'm using, cross reference with what you're using, uh, and then grow your business from there. And that's it. Just remember to enjoy the process. See you soon.